Good evening and welcome to this last of our Wednesday midweek Holden evening prayer services in this season of Lent. Throughout this season, we have been focusing on the promises of God, and tonight we reflect on that everlasting promise that has been given to us that God will write God's covenant on our heart and that all people will come to know God through Christ. As we prepare for worship this evening, you are invited to set your space in a way that feels sacred and worshipful. This may mean clearing out some time and a space in your house that is quiet and good for reflection and collecting around you anything that you need, whether it be a candle that you light to participate, a prayer stone, a prayer card, anything else that helps you to make your space holy and a space of worship. Dear ones, let us worship God together. Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world, the light no darkness. 
darkness can overcome. Stay with us now, for it is evening, and the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness and shine. Oh,
May our prayers come before you, O God, as incense, and may your presence surround and fill us, so that in union with all creation, we might sing your praise and your love in our lives. Amen. Our reading this evening comes from Hebrews chapter 5. It is a reading that establishes Christ not only as our high priest, but as the one who is indeed the Son of God, the one who is for us the sign of God's everlasting promises of life. From Hebrews 5. Christ did not glorify himself in becoming a high priest, but was appointed by the one who said to him, You are my son, today I have begotten you. As he says also in another place, You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. In the days of his flesh, Jesus offered up prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to the one who was able to save him from death, and he was heard because of his reverent submission. Although he was a son, he learned obedience through what he suffered, and having been made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, having been designated by God a high priest. Our reflection this evening is from an extended poem called We Would See Jesus by Anne Weems. That it had to come to this, that Jesus had to die in order for us to live, just as wheat dies to the earth and later bears much fruit. Jesus had to die to the world that he could live again for all of us, that we, through him, could live. I had a plant that died one winter. Because of the ice-covered earth, I put the plant in the garage, thinking I would throw it away when the ice thawed, wash out the pot, and replant. When spring came, I went to the darkness of the garage, and there, in the pot, the plant bloomed green. Resurrection in my face. Let us pray. O oh God, with steadfast love, you draw us to yourself, and in mercy you receive our prayers. Write your covenant of love on our hearts. Strengthen us to bring forth the fruits of your spirit and teach us to trust your promises of life, following the example of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it.
Great and merciful God, source and ground of all goodness and life, give to your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. God, remember us in your love and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. 